Every Navy ship and submarine has had its design tested here at the Naval Surface Warfare Center's Carter Rock Division. Engineers recreate to scale hazards and conditions a ship could face at sea. Computer models are used to break the flow of wind and water. High speed cameras capture underwater explosions to help understand the impact on vessels. 3D printers have been used for over a decade to aid design and an enormous wave pool to make hurricane force seas to test maneuverability and seaworthiness. We're basically a technical advisor for the Navy for hull mechanical and electrical engineering for the, the Navy's ships, submarines, combatant craft, and unmanned vehicles. But the highlight of the campus is the 3,200 foot long David Taylor Model Basin, one of the largest facilities of its kind in the world. The craft was trimmed with weights to give it the right balance. The Navy opened the basin in 1940 after finding the Bethesda, Maryland site had the solid bedrock to support the massive pools, access to water, and close proximity to the Navy's Washington offices. The key ingredient is industry uh, government partnership. We work with our industry partners to develop different aspects of using advanced computational tools to develop computer models of ships. And in addition, we also develop physical models of ships, which are scale model ships of the real size ship. Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, General Dynamics, Huntington Ingalls, and Raytheon use the unique facility and its specialized consultants. We have these work for private parties agreements in which industry can come in and work with our engineers in order to conduct different types of testing or experimentation that's required to advance or develop a Navy ship design. Every two years, the basin hosts the international human-powered submarine races to challenge and inspire high school and college kids in science and engineering. They had a look at hydrodynamics. They had a look at buoyancy and stability and weights. They had a look at systems engineering, a whole myriad of different types of real-world design challenges. Those students may not come up with the ship of the future every time, but chances are the Navy's next warship will sail here in the Maryland suburbs before it ever reaches the sea.